Hey guys, Mama Bear here. Welcome back to another video here in Lumber Tycoon 2. Today I am going to be showing you how to build an arcade machine, the kind of machines you see when you go to the arcade. So let's go ahead and tell you what you need. For the screen you're going to need a blue floor. It has to be blue. I mean technically you could make it any color but it just looks more like a screen. For the arcade machine itself you can use any color you want. In this case I'm using red. So you're going to need two tiny floors, two regular wires, eight posts, and then you're going to need six one by two by one wedges. You're going to need six short smooth walls. And last but not least, you're going to need three smooth walls. Let's go ahead and get to building. First, you're going to take your smooth wall and place it so it's facing upward, like this. That will be the back of the machine. Take your other one, your other smooth wall, put it on the side like that. Take the last smooth wall and put it on the other side. Okay. Now what you're going to do is take a short and smooth wall. Make sure it's down, laying down like this and place it right here like that. Take another short and smooth, lay it upward like this, put it on this side. Take another short and smooth, do the same to the other side. Okay, it should be looking like this so far. Take yet another short and smooth, lay it down. Place it in the middle like that. Okay. Take another short and smooth. Place it like that. Okay. Take your, le uh, let's see here. Let's do the screen part. Take your screen, make sure it's facing the way the screen should face, like this. Place it just like that. Please don't glitch out. There we go. Place it like that. Okay, so once you have the screen placed in, once it starts looking like this, you're going to take a post and you're going to place it on the back like that. So there should be one unit left on each side. Take another post. Put one on each side. And there's uh, one unit left, which is where our tiny floor comes in. So go ahead and put those in place, right on the corners. There, it should be looking something like this now. Okay. Take your, um, your short smooth wall. Take your short smooth wall, it should be your last one. Put it flat, laying flat like this, put it just like that, okay, take a post, laying flat, put it right against that smooth wall and then there should be room 
four. Another one. But first, we're going to take this one and put it on top of the screen. So if it lets you place it just like that. Okay. Now sometimes you might have some supplies left over, so that's okay. I like to put my um, post just like that. So there should be a little gap in here, but I'm not going to do that this time because um, for some reason it's just... Like I said, when I do tutorials, I usually just build it once and that's it. So I already figured out the problem, so put a post right here and then put a post on the bottom of that. There. So it should be looking somewhat like this. The screen should be one unit in. So there's one unit here, one unit there. Okay, now you're going to take your wedges, because it looks a little bare. So you're going to take your wedges, make sure they're all facing just like this. So, as soon as you get that, Make sure they're facing like this, and go ahead and just put them all the way across. Okay guys, so I finished the wedges. So it should be looking something like this. Okay, so it still looks a little plain, like it's missing something. That was a big explosion. <laughs> um, so now we're going to put the joysticks. You can also kind of customize it any way you like. This is just the way I do it. So I like to get my little guide out. I like to use blueprints so it helps you get the wire straight and you'll see what I mean in a second here. So it just depends on where you want them. Now don't fill these blueprints because they're only there for a guide. So take your wire, and having having this there also helps you know where to center it. So you're going to put it right up against the blueprint, go up about, I would say almost a little over halfway, or I mean I should say a little over a fourth of the way. Try to make it straight. There. First joystick done. Now the biggest challenge is going to be to get those even. So take the other one and do the same thing to the other side. Okay guys, I just placed the other joystick. It's not quite even, but for the sake of the video, I'm not going to sit here and fiddle with it. But you guys can feel free to do whatever you want. So then after you're done doing that, the last step is just getting rid of these guides, the blueprints. And there you have it. Your arcade machine is done. Like I said, you can make it any way you like. You can make it any color. You can add anything you want to it. Be creative. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you are watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.